Eddie the Magic Monk. 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 Hey guys, it's Eddie the Magic Monk. In this video, I'm going to explain how I wrote a bunch of macros for a spreadsheet, saved the spreadsheet, forwarded it to my colleagues, and one of them has now come back to me saying there was nothing in this, no macros in the spreadsheet. How that's possible. So with Excel macros, what you do to create a macro is you go to developer mode. Uh, I've made a whole other tutorial on just getting this developer tab in case it's not showing up for you and I create a button through the insert option and I create a new macro um, called button one click okay so I just go to new and it lets me type the code in for a macro okay so if I type some sort of code in here I'm just gonna make it very simple create a variable called x x equals one all right, something like that, so as integer. It doesn't matter what this is right now. Okay, so I've created the macro, I close it down. I can even run the macro, I can even click this button, nothing happens, nothing bad happens, all right, because it's executing the macro. If you go assign my macro, you can see it's assigning this macro and you can Go to Visual Basic to see the macro in Module 1 and you're running the macro. The spreadsheet's fully working. Okay. The problem is now I want to save this spreadsheet. So I go to File, I go to Save. And let's say I just save it somewhere on my computer, on my desktop. Just call it Book 1. It doesn't matter what it is right now. Now it comes up with this message. The following features cannot be saved in macro-free workbooks. To save a file with these features, click no. Okay, that's the confusing bit because you think that if you click yes, your macro should still be there, right? It just won't work. But you click yes. If you click yes, okay, now where are the macros? Are they still here? If you go to Visual Basic, Yes, it's still here. Okay, it's still here. But if you close it down and you open it up again, right now, if I go back to my macros, okay, developer, Visual Basic, the macro is gone. Okay, all that work. Imagine if I had written 200 lines of code and you save it and the macro is gone. So, the key bit that I'm trying to say is when you, after you create a macro, so let's say I go into um, assign macro, create a new macro, I type some stuff here, All right? Type some stuff here. After you close this, when you save, you have to click no here. You have to click no. After you click no, then you go to your computer and you save it as a macro enabled workbook. You have to save it as a macro enabled workbook to keep your macros. And now you close it down and then you open up the macro enabled workbook and then you click on the button. Okay, and then you go to Visual Basic and now you can see your macro is still there. Okay, so that's the crazy bit. All right, thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.